What's up, my people? Back on site up in the sand lot, sandbox, doing a little septic tank install. Level my tracks up because we're on this little slope here. Get a little dirt from over here, maybe. This is a little out of level. So, the tank was supposed to be dropped off at 11 o'clock. It is. 9.30, tank is here, so I rush in to get a layout to get this thing uh, ready to go because I can't lift that tank. So I just dig the hole and then he sets it. This should level my tracks up. So the bottom of the hole Here's my outlet to the septic. I'm gonna set the laser. We gotta be 58 inches down from here. That would be the bottom of my tank. So we're good there with the laser. Right there. Now we gotta measure up 58 inches, and that would be the bottom of that hole. Alright, just got that all figured out. Got that exposed. Gotta go down a couple feet here hit That's our grade. We're just going to rake it around, get it nice and level, make sure we got 10 by 64.
All right, tank's gonna be set. Got my blue mark. Just put a 10 foot mark on the uh, wall. That way we can guide the tank in. Just be on this side of the mark. Just for time frame, we did that in 15 minutes. The whole thing, start to finish. Here she comes. 1250 gallon tank. That's what we got here. backfilled got that schedule 40 pipe in there I put the pipe about that far in side the septic tank three inches or so bed your pipe like that the inspector likes to see extra fluff around it make sure it's bedded properly leave your export hole open like so so we can find it and get to the septic field over there uh we got precast piers that were also dropped off over there for our deck they're going to be installed at a later date probably when we install the septic not too far ahead but that's what's next here i think i'm going to do the well line right now all right change of plans we're going to set some piers hey, get this strap out of there we're going to dig the piers here Measurements. 
Alright, I got great in the bottom. Piers, this trench will do. Alright, just line your machine up like so. <coughs> so it's your bucket square. I think we're right about there. and that would have been in the way when I pulled that long one, so sure. Put your dirt in the right spot. Like this one, I could put some in the center. Bucket's about four foot, there we go there. was dead nuts grade right there just got to clean out the front that is sweet the back here was just curled from the bucket scrape it and then clean out right here than just one in the center at first but just look at the print that's where it's at so I can put the dirt here Keep 
looking close from here, but I have to get down in the hole with a level and uh, spin it. One good thing is in the sand, it should spin nice and easy. All right, pier number two is going to touch touch the chain to the line, and he's guiding me to the mark I got on there. Straight down. Right about there. The third pier being set. That pier in the center I just got dropped in. I didn't set it to the old line. That is the last one. We'll put a line across to the two corners and split the difference. But as you see, I got two blue paint or two tape marks on there. That's the two piers. We square that line off with a T-square off the building. Quickest and easiest way to get that done. And these piers walk really easy. Once you get them in the hole, they shimmy and shake right where they need to be. All right, we got a string line to get this center one straight. Jimmy's on the line there. We got the string tied to there. We got to walk these. Just put your foot here. Watch this thing walk. There it goes. Just wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Dirt boss, just twist it a little to the right side of yours. That's the twist. Ah, you did it backwards, but I mean it's close. Which way you want to twist? I'm looking good on the string. I'm looking good with the range. I know you're a little. You're, you know what? You're you're almost right on the money. You're about a quarter off, and I know how picky you are about. Which that, way do so. you gotta go? So we gotta walk more. You mean? Just a tidbit. I got the whole now you see how much I just walked that an inch and a half. All you do is put your foot there and rock this back and forth and it will it will go. They're real easy to adjust. Yeah. Look at that. All of them are set. Took and took uh some pictures. Inspector said take good pictures and go ahead and back fill. So these piers can tip left to right so you want to back fill the bases evenly let the dirt hit the sides like I'm doing and cascade it in don't go crazy with it my people septic tank is in i even put that uh line in there schedule 40 i think i showed you that already actually bill door's not here yet he could still back up to that i guess septic materials here which is going to go there in the future video um piers are in just backfilled sloppy it's gonna rain on it then we'll grade the rest of this back in there before they frame um didn't expect to do those today. I thought I was going to just do the septic tank and the well line, but we had an audible. Got those in. I'll do the well line when I come back for the septic with the little machine. I'm going to get the Cabelco out of here. And, uh, yeah, this one's a wrap. I didn't show you guys the house. There's the house all framed up. We did that in one day. We set all the walls and then the trusses the following day. It is a panelized home. If you guys want to see a panelized home, the floor that we just poured, the one with the secret room, um, I'm going to be helping them guys frame that tomorrow. If you guys want to see that, put it down in the comments below and I'll film it. Like, I didn't film this one, but I wasn't sure if anybody wanted to see it. So if you want to see that, I'll try to get some film of that. And uh, let me know in the comments below. All right, my people. Thanks. Beautiful day. Blessed with this day. See you on the next one.